Hello, you perverted pumpernickel pies. Jim Sterling here, and this is <sighs> Cat Simulator. Now, you may be wondering why we're doing a second video on this game, considering there's little to no content in the game uh, that we can actually cover. Well, uh, far be it from me, and anyone who knows me will know that I am loath to let misinformation stand uncorrected. Uh, I am I'm loath, loath to do that. So what this is, is a bit of a correction video. You see, Earlier, earlier, I covered Cat Simulator and said that it was the exact same level from Project Cats. And because it was it was put up under a new publisher and, and everything, and had a totally different name, uh, I'd assumed this was some sort of stock level uh, that, you know, a different developer had, had put out there. Considering the amount of times we've seen Unit Z repackaged and re-released, it was not beyond the scope of, of one's assumptions. But it was an assumption, and I was incorrect. Uh, and having received an email from Cat Studio, the quote-unquote developer behind this game, um, accusing me of um, uh, defamation, uh, I... I am loath to to let that such misinformation stand. Uh, obviously, they didn't need to accuse me of defamation, um, you know, to to get a correction. But I felt like it was only right to to do the video again. And, and as many people know, uh, like like with uh, Cobra Studio and the like, uh, I am always ready to give a second look to a game under fresh light with new information. So basically. Here we go, this is Cat Simulator, which is one of the levels from Project Cats, which we have a video of already, uh, that was quite some time ago, and that's no longer available on Steam, Project Cats, because Project Cats was developed by the same team, so basically, this is the level they made for Project Cats, um, re-released standalone, without those features, which apparently are coming back, but because of the bugs that was that, that it launched with, they decided to take Project Cats down and re-release it as the more cynically named Cat Simulator. And I, yeah, I mean that's something, I guess. So it's basically Project. It is Project Cats, but with most of the content removed and due to come back at some other time. Which is puzzling, because, like I said, they've, uh, you know, a lot of the information I said is still true. You know, Cat Simulator was on Greenlight in April 2014, and Project Cats was on Early Access many, many months ago, and there appears to have been very little actually developed since then. So the thing is, is even though they accused me of, of defamation due to my, um, you know, my assumption, it hasn't really helped because within their context, this is still fucking shite. I mean, they've had months. They've had months. And the only thing that's really changed between this and Project Cats, I mean, aside from the missing content, is some of the interface is missing. You know, there used to be a, a little rat-like logo in the corner. Or was it a cat? I can't remember. Some animal in the fucking corner of the screen. That's gone. That seems to be the most major change. I mean, I don't quite remember the sky just being covered in all these black splotches in the original. I could be wrong there. But, again, like, th this is something they're now selling on Steam after taking down the original version and here I am just just correcting that to save their good name so here's the death the death trap area that's a special feature of the game if you uh, hang around here too long you might just fall through there we are it still happens and there's there's actually nothing we can do here uh, until the time runs out I mean can we we can we we have to press escape to to get back. Otherwise, there, there's no getting out of it. So, hopefully, this appeases Cat Studio. You know, this makes it all better. 
because I would hate, hate to sully all of the, all of the good that they've built up, the goodwill that they've built among fans and gamers the world over, you know? I would hate, hate to be any part of their defamation. I'm interested only in their formation because they surely deserve it. I mean, with physics like this, you know, and by physics, I mean, there's no actual physics because no matter what direction you touch an object from, they always fly off in the same fucking direction. That's what I said at the end of the last video, which we didn't really delve into because I was just desperate to end the fucking thing. But you look at this. Look at that. I touch the shield and it, it's designed to just fly off in that direction. You can't make these objects here on this side of the bar go over here. Watch. Look at that. They couldn't even get basic fucking physics right. The things actually push you off the bar. If you come at them from this angle, you get pushed off. I mean, that's just straight up fucking incompetent. There's... It, how has it taken you months for this? How has this taken you months? I mean, my, my jaw is just fucking open. Look at that, we just get fucking slingshotted. So anyway, this, this here's part two of, of cats of my cat simulator coverage for you, which I will, you know, I'll be dedicated to providing round the clock coverage of Cat Simulator from here on out. Don't you worry. I'm going to be vigilant, and I'm going to be eagle-eyed for any changes and any information, Cat Studio, that I can provide to you, and any help and any information you can provide to me, so that we can work together to promote what is clearly, clearly the next big thing, the next Bioshock. Day or night, give me a call. Fucking incompetent shite.